I once struggled with pornography, Bishop Onyedekbo's son, Isaac. You are welcome to Nigeria Anchor News. I am Osita Maxwell. Today we shall be talking about Isaac Onyedekbo's shocking revelations that has stirred a lot of reactions from Nigerians and across. And we shall be looking at some of these comments at the end of this news. Isaac Onyedekbo, the son of Bishop David Onyedekbo, the founder of Living Faith Church, has opened up about his past struggle with pornography. During an appearance on the podcast Confession Box, Isaac shared that his exposure to pornography began during a trip to a European country. Isaac recounted, I remember how it started. We traveled to one country, and I was meant to be in the room alone. I switched on the TV, and that is it. He emphasized that it was through God's help that he was able to overcome this challenge swiftly. He reflected on the importance of addressing such issues openly, noting, a lot of people still struggle with it. If someone who has struggled with it had approached me and told me how to overcome it, I would have come out of it quickly. Isaac also highlighted a misconception within the church, stating, you may be anointed and seen signs and wonders, but it does not mean you are standing right. There are times I find out I wasn't right, but grace and mercy found me. He concluded by stressing the need for transparency and support within the faith community, saying, For the sake of someone who is genuine in the congregation, God can bypass you to meet the person. This is my confession. My opinion. I find Isaac Onyedekbo's openness about his struggles with pornography to be both courageous and commendable. His willingness to share his personal journey and highlight the role of faith in overcoming such challenges is a powerful example of vulnerability and transparency within the church community. To take us further are some of the comments gathered from citizens across. And first on the list is coming from Sarah Johnson, a Twitter user. Isaac Onyedekbo's honesty about his past struggles with pornography is refreshing. It's important for leaders to share their vulnerability and show that everyone faces battles, no matter their position. Kwame Mensa, Instagram user. This is a reminder that nobody is immune to struggle, not even the son of prominent bishop. Isaac Onyedekbo's story in encourages others to seek help and rely on faith to overcome their own challenges. Elena Petrov, Facebook user, I admire Isaac Onyedekbo's courage in opening up about his past. It's crucial for individuals in positions of influence to acknowledge their vulnerabilities and often support to those who may be going through similar difficulties. Thank you for staying true to the end. Do ensure to drop your opinions in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe.